I tell you what, we'll, we'll play some games and then we'll go over the, the, the swords. What are we doing currently? We are well, retaking... Let's not stand around. The last piece awaits. The last piece? Oh. 10, 6... Whoa, 160p and you're still getting stream lag 8-bit. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. What sort of internet have you got, man? Are you... Is it standard difficulties that you're having? Is this is this normal for you? Right, okay. Tomb of, Tomb of the Timekeeper. We still haven't got the gold point challenge for this. And I won 100% this game, obviously. So, let's see if we can kick things off by getting the point challenge for this level. Shall we? Yes, let's. We're starting off with a four times multiplier. If we can do the entire level and retain this four times multiplier, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're in and now we're playing. I'm gonna go through the setup. So, with our new custom subscriber badges, for anybody that is unaware, there are four tiers of subscriber badges. You get your first subscriber badge when you subscribe. For the first time, or if you've um, missed a month out on a, uh, what's the word? On a combo. C -c 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 combo breaker. So you get your first set of cutlasses at one month. And then, if you subscribe for three months in a row, these spheres bear the same glyphs of Osiris. You get your the copper stars should cutlasses, affect them as well. which are slightly bigger, slightly sharper, slightly more cutlassy. And if you get up to six months, you will get your silver cutlasses, which are even sharper still. And then, if you get to twelve months as a retrovert, you will get yourself a pair of gold cutlasses, which we can cut. A Family friendly swathe through Twitch with. Might try again later. No worries, 8 bit. Good luck with the stream. You tried. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. Thanks, man. Rock and roll. Rhinestone encrusted cutlasses. Murphy. Oh my god, it's super sub, I cannot wait. It's gonna be this Sunday. I was gonna, oh, maybe we'll do... No, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? If I just go live to shave the beard, that would be a very strange stream. Because on Sunday, I, I, I'm i gonna be shaving the beard. Because I wouldn't be able to go live for very long. Which means it would literally be a stream for like an hour, me turning up, not playing any games, and <laughs> shaving my beard and having a chat. Hypothetically, how much could, would one have to donate for me to shave all of my hair off? Well, for me. For me to shave all of my hair off would mean me probably losing my job that I currently have, which would mean me having a black spot against my name uh, at this theatre. And I love working at this theatre. They've employed me multiple times. I love everything about this theatre. So, um, what would, I would probably have to live at least for the next five years off of the donation. So, 100,000? Yeah, 100,000, and I would cut my, cut my hair off. Stream the beard, blood and all. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping a little bit of it. I'm, I'm shaving in uh, 1970s mutton chops, but not, not like stylish mutton chops, because my guy... My, my character is not a stylish man. <laughs> Bugs! What we got? Oh, Ooh, no, I do not want a grenade launcher for this level. Yeah, Sasha. Chops. 
Ginny! Personally, you're not a fan of beards. I have a feeling that you need to, uh... <laughs> you need to tell a certain somebody. Uh, Sasha, are you a fan of, uh, of mutton chops? <laughs> what have we got? AR06. We haven't used this yet. Let's, let's see what this is all about. Burst fire. Sasha, you're a fan of people looking silly for specific things. I might have to put my hair up to be fair, because. Oh, so dang warm. Let me pick you up without getting hit. Have we been. We, we do go down there, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So I'm aiming for Mungo Jerry. Uh, I don't know who Mungo Jerry is, but yes. The wall is weak here. Queen, fun story. I met Argroth for the first time three times. The third time when I remembered him, he had shaved. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, super sub. I will have to. I will, either that, or you can put a link to it. Put it in the subsection in Discord. Not that I can see subsection while I'm. Um, actually, you know what? I don't like this burst fire mode. Can we change modes, or is that just part of the weapon? I think it's just part of the weapon. Um, magnums. Could be cool. Uh, Uzis. High-powered assault rifle. Fast action rifle. Bolt action. Why isn't the fast action less weapon? I don't know, I suppose you've got to have some reason to use it. Assault rifle. Submachine gun. Shotty. Jewel. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Eh. Still haven't found one that's, uh... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, try, we'll try this for a little bit. Shall we? Fox McGill! How are you doing? Oh my god. I apologize for the sweaty mess that you are currently watching on stream. Guys. Wait, is that a fella? Hello, fella. Oh, and you got me. Takes me a couple of tries, but we get there in the end. So, with this run that we're currently doing. We are looking for the gold point challenge. Yeah, yeah. 75,000 points. Bottom left of the screen, we've got our little hood, which currently shows that we have 21,600 points. And just above Lara's face and to the right, we have a four times multiplier. If we get hit, if we get damaged at all, that will that will go back down to zero. Yeah, heart. How you doing? Some badges. We got cutlasses. You got cutlasses. That's my we have cutlasses song. The Mongo Jerry look is in the Discord. Subsection. Okay, okay. Any subs out there? Anybody with a cutlass to your name? Check the subsection Discord to see Super Sub's idea of what I'm going to look like when I shave on Sunday. Super Sub, bearing in mind, is my dad. Well, anyone that has cutlasses who has linked their Twitch to Discord, touche, Lemon. Two shaves. Five shaves to clear this forest. It is fairly accurate. Excellent. So yeah, I'm playing a, a very, very dim-witted vet.
Yes, mutton chops. Mutton chops is what I will be going for. My... I have, like, the world's most frumpy outfit. My costume is hilarious. I need to actually show you guys. I'll, I'll probably link it in subsections as well. I'll show you my current um, get up. Hey, Nori! I am doing very well. How are you? What's my character? Well, uh, Sasha, so I'm doing rep theatre at the minute, so I have multiple characters. So which one are you asking about? Are you asking about my current character or the one that I'm going to be playing um, in the next play that I'm doing? I mean, I can tell you both, to be fair. It would it's not that hard. Current character is a bit of a, uh, a geezer. He... It, it's a farce that we're doing, so it's over the top. It's larger than life. It's um, it's hilarious. It's great fun. Our audiences have been awesome. However, it's not realistic. It's it's, it's meant to be heightened, somewhat. So yeah, my bloke is a is a proper geezer. Oh, oh I just blew these. Blew those dudes up. Oh, check. And that guy. Oh, well. And I turn up and I start punching people. That's effectively my my character in a nutshell. The Brechtian way. Yes. Uh, but no, the, uh, the next play that I'm in is going to be... Uh, it's Living Together. It's uh, an Alan, Alan Acorn. It's part of a trilogy called The Northern Conquests. Um, where this one character called Norman um, basically tries to sleep his way through a family. Basically. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought there was a bit of lag there and I pressed bomb twice. Luckily for us, reloading checkpoints keeps your multiplier. Giza means old. In America, Sasha. No, no. Uh, okay, no. No, that's that's not me. Um, no, Geezer is a bit of a a, a, a wide boy, a lad. A... A stereotypical Ardna. Sorry, I had to go back on this. I am not missing out on any points in this run because we've we've done this level a couple of times before and we have found we've had difficulties. We still haven't managed to actually break the 75k mark that we need. Typically works in manual labour, wears a polo shirt with jeans, usually seen at a working men's club or your local pub. Yep, that's that's an accurate description. I mean, I think that stereotypically works, but that's 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 fast for you. So fast you are, because it's all heightened. You can just get away with stereotypes. My favorite performance I ever did. Um, I played uh, John Wilmot, the second Duke of Rochester in a play called The Libertine. Uh, it's a film as well. Um, my character was the same character that Johnny Depp played. So, yeah. Since you will not bow to me, that kept it was amazing. I then my that. spirits will devour your flesh. Ah, aha, yes. Oh god, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Did, did I go did I do good? Did I go dude? Oh, 
Uh, but I tell you what, it's nothing like living in London up here in Sheringham. It's hilarious. I've got chatting with an old man for ages uh, today. To be fair, at the, st at the start, I just thought he was a really friendly old man that was a little bit lonely and wanted to chat to someone. Turns out that he was a little bit mental. Not in, like, a, a derogatory term, but, like, deluded. He was going on about his, uh... He had the kind of the, he 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 had an epiphany the answer to all life, but I wasn't ready to hear it. I think I think basically he was getting down to the point where he was going to be asking me for money if I wanted to hear the meaning of life. Go do it, <laughs> Sasha. How? Why are you overtired? A disparate oh disrespectful term. I did not mean I did not mean to disrespect the elderly. Although this guy earlier was probably a geezer. <laughs> no, that's me. I'm sorry. Just because I don't know the term does not mean that it is not offensive in a different language. Family friendly. I'm so sweaty. Anytime I just stop talking or stop thinking, my mind instantly goes back to the fact that I'm melting. People expect to pay for the meaning of life, apparently. Exactly, exactly, Zork. Well, if you've got the meaning of life, you might as well uh, cash in, you know? How are you doing, Zork? Work and work and not enough sleep. I hear that. I hope it eases up for you, Sasha, within time. Super sub, you personally thought my best moment was as an alien bursting out of John Hurt's chest. Nice segue, by the way. So I got to, I got to work with John Hurt once, which was like, my best thing the best thing ever. So yeah. Yeah. I hugged him twice. No! Don't go down there, you damn thing. Right, we are three quarters of the way. No, two thirds of the way to our goal of... 75,000 points. No! It doesn't help when everything falls down. Oh, I see. It's not a, a respectful. I'm not offending anybody. Okay, we're nearly at 60. Why did I switch out to my pistols? Oh, maybe we ran out of ammo. I like the fact that you had to... You, for quite a lot of these, you have to light the torch sconces. Gives gives a little bit of a feeling of... Uh, that this place has been left untended for millennia. Or uh, probably not millennia. Centuries. Decades. Days. Oh, it makes me so happy seeing all those little cutlasses in chat. I love it. And that one too. Thank you. Right, we only need 10,000 more points. How did we find this so difficult last time? I'm really having a hard time understanding what we did wrong. Maybe I do. Oh, maybe I was going too quickly. What? Ah! Oh, I hate when that happens. Nothing like showing up in old tombs and having the lights still on. Uh, wasn't this supposed to be untouched for hundreds of years? 
the lightning bill must be huge by now. Yeah. Unless, I mean, you could explain it away, maybe, uh, by saying that they're, they're linked to underground gas vaults. Natural gas. Sorry. Terrible. Darn it, Susan! Susan. She's gonna be the end of this company. Ooh. Ah, yes. Right, so we still got our four times. This is good. Well, of course it's a trap. And look at all those points that just fell off! No, reload checkpoint. How are we supposed... It gives us tons of points there. But in the cutscene, you can't move Lara. Well, of course it's a trap. Okay. Actually, that looks like a better... Dispersion. Yeah, I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. Oops. Um, ball, could you come down here, please? Or just explode? I mean, either one I'm cool with. And explosion! Let's move. Right, so we have to get... Set up a cave no, reload checkpoint. We have to get 50,000 points up this ramp. Sorry, not 50,000, 5,000. Slightly more. Um, 5,000 points to get our point goal. So we can't get hit because we need that four times multiplier. And we need to pick up. Oh, well, of course it's a trap. Ah! We've set no! Up Damn you, Spiky Ball! At least uh, when we reload the checkpoint, we keep our four times multiplier and uh, it's at the bottom of the stairs. So. Could be worse, I suppose. Well, of course it's a trap. Way. We've set up a cave in. Yes, we have. It's cool, Lara. Chill out, love. Right, we don't need that much more, actually. I'm still going to make sure that we try our best. There it is, gold point challenge. I mean, why not try and get the most points possible? What are my points make? I'm not entirely sure in this game. And away we go. Excellent. Well, Another pickups. Points mean pickups in this game. That reminds me, uh, you saw someone post a house for sale on a Facebook buy and sell page. They are. 239,000 and someone bid 1,800,000. Infinity Gauntlet obtained. I don't feel well. I haven't actually watched the film. I just... I think I know that that's a quote. dying here. I'm dying of heat. Memes are incredibly powerful. Yep. Connecting with people... I've probably connected with people that haven't seen the film. As somebody that hasn't seen the film. Just through the, the medium of memes. Can we open this one? Ah, uh, man, we have 935. So close. I'm kind of only opening the big ones now. Should we go for the smaller ones, though? I assume... It just decreases the chances of getting good ones. It's like a gambling thing. If you open a, a one of them that costs one uh, 100 gems, you get a less... Uh, you get a smaller chance of getting a good item, maybe. You gonna lurk? No worries, Lemon. Lurk away. Rainy can't wait to see you again. Neither can I. 
Right, there goes another 100 percent level. Uh. Solve all five challenge teams if we haven't come across the last one. Shiner by Cyrus, collect ten red skulls. Have we got... Have we, like, unlocked anywhere that we couldn't get to before? Which might have a red skull in it. Oh, we've got points down here. Only 100%? Casual. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I know, right? I must try harder. 101%! Wouldn't be the first time that we've got 101% on a Tomb Raider game. Getting more secrets than is humanly possible. Perfection will not suffice. Look at that friend down there. Touch it. Touch it. Hi, Crocky. Hi, Croxon. Oh, hey, Sasha. Thank you very much. For the... For the, well, tip. Happy Friday Eve. Yeah, good enough. Super sub, where you at? 53,000 plunder. Congratulations. The water has opened a path here as well. What? Uh, what? Uh, what? Oh, we're just adding more water to the... I've never, ever, apart from, like, just playing casually around at friends' houses when I was younger, never played Fr Crash Bandicoot, I'm afraid. More friends! Yay! <laughs> Die, friends! Yeah, so I guess we're putting more water into this bit, and then that'll raise it up and we can get to that last one. I mean, yeah, I never, I never had a bad time while playing it! Don't eat me! Or nozzle me. Affirmative consent. Croc. That needs to be a character. The affirmative consent, Croc! If you ever consider it, I'd absolutely watch me playing some Crash. Zork, what the... the a lot of this game, uh, a lot of this stream was me wanting to fill in the blanks of my uh, my gaming history. Because I've always loved games, but just never had A, the money, and well, I mean, a lot of the time it is, especially when it comes down to console games, it is a lot, a lot of money. Um, especially because I had an N64 back in the day, and the carts, I mean, they're still pretty much the same, same price. So yeah, yeah, that was that was a lot about this stream. So I do have a, a PlayStation One, um, which I have only recently acquired. I bought that whilst I was actually up in Sheringham last time I was here, which is cool. Um, is this a challenge tomb or where I'm supposed to be going? I think it's where I'm supposed to be going. Um, I also have a PS Two and a PS Three. So for things like Metal Gear. Because the Metal Gear series is going to be the next one after that we've completed the Lara Croft series. I'm going to need to weigh up whether we play the Metal Gear series on actual hardware versus, um, well, I, w I won't ever emulate, but um, if we can get games on other platforms that are available, or Ooh, thank you, thank you. Ah, bugs! I'm going to flame throw these bugs. Yeah, if I can get the... Um, where's the flamethrower? There it is. Hand cannons. Yeah, can't you... Can't you get some, like... Um, complete, like, collector's editions of... Various. Why? Oh, I see. I'm bombing the eyeballs. Fox, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Again, because I was an N64 fella, that 
completely passed me by when I was younger, so... Obviously, I know a lot about it. A lot of, um... I know a lot of spoilers for it. Just purely... Well, this, this place is green, isn't it? Purely because of the fact that it's so well known. Ah, I see. Okay, cool, cool. So, bomb down here. Doing the same these days, playing games that you miss the pathway in terms of console that you, well, your friends happen to have. I understand that one, man. Yeah, yeah. Sprite! Why is Sprite so delicious? Well, no, the, 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 the Able's just telling you, don't, don't taste me. How are you doing, man? Monolith, you. How are you? I just decided to shorten how are you to you. Null Sprite? You. Monolith? You. I've got a PS3 that plays 1 and 2 as well. Uh, just have to get it fixed so you can stream me on your PS4. Ah, okay, okay. They swing those cutlasses round and round. Round and round. I haven't checked the uh, challenges for this. How are you, Bay? Not gonna lie. If it looks like I'm warm, it's because I am. It's insanely warm here. I do. I have a fridge, but the, well, I, I'm living in digs, so the fridge is downstairs in the kitchen on the ground floor, and I'm on the third floor in the loft. Okay, Twitch has done something to their auto mod here. I don't know what's gone on. It's being a bit weird, and it's holding. It's just holding. Yeah, I don't understand. Sprite, I'm sorry, man. Rip though, man. He is bad. ABD, not bad. Super tired. Why super tired? How? Why? What? Tell me more. Ah, I see one doing. Um, oh, I see that we're in a section. We're not in a level at the minute yet. Ah, oh, dead. Sorry, Lara. Bleep. Monolith, you got swords, bro. You got them cutlasses. Sing. 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 I don't know. <laughs> That's a thing I do now, apparently. How am I melting? Is, is the short answer. The show's going well. We... Do, actually, no. Okay, right. Here's the story. Here's the story. The show is going incredibly well. Or was, because we have finished the show in the current theatre. We are transferring it to a different theatre. There we go. As of tomorrow. So the tech team are currently transferring all of our set and putting it up in a completely different theatre. The theatre that we are, we have just finished at, we were, we have sold we had sold out every night. Every single seat in the house was completely sold out for the entire run, which is amazing. However, this theatre that we are transferring to. We're looking, it's going to be lucky if we get like 30 people in a night, which is horrific. Um, and it's for three days. The whole reason is, so the artistic director of this theatre that I'm currently at, which is called Sheringham Little Theatre, um, she's been put in charge of a separate theatre. Um, 
What? What is going on with these other eyeballs? Can I shoot these eyeballs? I can shoot these eyeballs. Right? Excellent. Um, she's been put in charge of this other theatre. Um, which doesn't have a particularly good infrastructure for getting people in and watching shows, etc, etc. Uh, and we are being put in as kind of guinea pigs. Uh, so yeah, we're being put in, because we've got an amazing show, we're, put in, we're being put in to see if we can drum up some support. The unfortunate thing is, so if you can watch a show, Especially something that's uh, a comedy, specifically a farce as well, because farces are very frenetic, very, very fast-paced. Um, and they do rely a lot on audience for timing. I mean, it is, it is definitely a give-and-take thing with audiences. Super Sub, no. No, that's not, that's, that's not the type of show. This is not pantomime. This is uh, definitely not. Although saying that, some poor person in the front row last night did get a little bit of porridge splattered on them. <laughs> yeah, so it's a blessing and a curse because, I mean, it's going to get word out because we do have a great show. We have a really good show. It's hilarious. Um, and the people that come and see it Hopefully, we'll find it fun. The hell? What is that happening? But, farces more than a lot of different um, styles of theatre rely on that give and take in the audience. I mean, if you go and watch like a thriller or something like that, oh, look at all the points falling off the bridge. You don't really need a lot of um, audience members because. Well, thrillers are generally kind of brooding uh, affairs. Not always, not always. Obviously, there is room for comedy and thrillers and things like that, but it's not as heavily reliant as something like a farce is. So if you get like 30 people come to see a show when you're expecting like 200, the experience for everyone, actors and uh, punters alike, is going to be very different. Sasha, yeah, we're, we're almost guaranteed not to now, unfortunately, because the next the show is, the first show in Great Yarmouth, which is, by the way, anybody knows anybody in Great Yarmouth, tell them to go to St George's Theatre tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday, because we have an awesome show. We really do. You'd come and laugh extra loud for me to make up for the numbers, Sasha. Bless you. I appreciate that. No, Super Sub is a different, it is a completely different style of show. So, pantomime, a lot of audience interaction. You're never going to figure me for that, are you? Uh, did you pull a lot of strings to get very axe on the god guest spot? I felt a certain smugness in you afterwards. Snored. It would no, no, no. I didn't pull a lot of strings. No, I was, I was approached and asked about streamers that I think would be good, and I gave them num uh, people names. And yeah, basically, it was it was then up to Osiris her to, to do her his thing. oracle betrayed him. Everything she I saw, know. I saw as well, and that cost him his life. Hold up. And now we'll carry on this conversation after we fight a moving eyeball. Hello. A moving eyeball that spits out eye gunk. Green eye gunk, specifically. Oh, ooh, that was a cheeky one, wasn't it? Classic borrowing eyeball. But like very axe was already on their their uh, their radar, man. I didn't have to do a lot of them.
And, I mean, very accident incredible to us here. So, yes. Of course, I was gonna, I was gonna do everything that I could to give him the heads up. Just, am I getting points for this? There isn't challenges in this one. There is not. No, no. Thanks, Lord. Thank you. Uh, right, let's switch guns. What the hell am I doing? There we go. Flamethrowers! Oh my god, fire on the floor. Oh, there goes the eyeball. Go? Go where? Are we, uh, we're supposed to be killing the outside eyeballs as well. There we go, we've got that whole time again. I can't stop talking. I can't stop talking because if I stop talking, then all I can think of is. <laughs> ah, we got. Right. Outside eyeballs. There it is! Where? Where? What? What? Did we hit it? Yee, bugger! Oh, I see. The outside eyeballs are, like, spewing stuff. Chucking that eye gunk. I might actually have a show-related um, surprise soon. It's open. Ah! For uh, subs. Not a big one. Don't get too excited. Just pop that out there. Whilst, whilst we were talking about breath and stuff. This is like an optometrist nightmare. Eyes everywhere. Green gunk bombs. What? Oh, I just bombed myself. Also, bugs. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Oh my god, I just hit the bike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to waft. Well, it's a calf, everybody. Not like a baby cow. Like the muscle. <laughs> Flap for victory! Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not a defeat! But I still have eyes on all things! I still see through you! You are but dust! Before me. I mean, it kind we of have feels a your little minions bit like again a, and again. You may not see it, but we will stop you. Ah, uh, you may not I see it. Been too kind to you. That will have to change. Ooh, egg. Ooh, arch me book. Right. Back to the shrine, I go. You know what we're doing? We are taking my hair and we are putting it up because I, I need I need more airflow around me head. Oh god. Monolith, what what specific game are you thinking of? Come on. Goodbye, lovely locks. I mean, they're still there. They're just in a in a slightly more neat position. Oh god, it's this bit that's warm. I did actually try putting up uh, putting a, a, an audio gate on um, ABS so that I could stream without this, which would have been amazing, but unfortunately, didn't work. Ah, warm. 
They just took, look too goofy for this. Ah, okay. I mean, there is there is a definite arcade vibe to this game. But I, I think I know what you mean. We have killed a giant dung beetle. So... <laughs> Am I farming these guys for points? Are they just spawning? Your friends! No! No! Well, your friends keep on coming at me. They need to learn their lesson. So, have now have we flooded more? Can we get to other places? I want to get up here. I also want that other red skull. How the dickens are we going to get up there? How the dickens, I say. Wait, how are we going to get down? This way? No, nope, invisible wall. Because we did pretty much just jump into this bit, didn't we? From over here. Can we get back up this way? About that level. Ah, there we go. Lost. With Osiris's strength, we can put an end to this flood and face Sobek. Return to Osiris's shrine and banish the rain. I mean, okay. What's this one? Can we open this one? Oh, maybe that's the end of the game one. Community chest. This is a community chest. It lights up. It lights up when it has light loot for you. Community challenge, community challenge rewards and purchase content are found here. Right. Oh, okay. Turn to the shrine and banish the rain. Dooby dooby doo boo boo. Snort. How should a game be to be considered a retro game? To me, for me, it is the year two thousand or before. Um. Yeah. If a game came out after the year 2000, I generally stream under its game title, its actual game title, such as Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. But unless it's a very specific game, um, yeah, I'll. I'll uh, how I? Can we, like. <laughs> hey, Flip. How goes? Wait, wait, wait. If we put our, uh... Check it out! We got cutlasses, Flib! DP! Oh, hold on. Flibbity Flam! That confused the devil out of me. Flibbity Flam, thank you very much for the host, man. You know you rock. You know who I am. DP, Quietly you sneaking rock. in. You are sneaking in. Possibly not quietly. <laughs> but you know I love you for it. Thank you very much for the 11 months in a row. One more month and you will get your gold cutlasses. Not that you have to. I do not expect you to. But if you wanted to, you could get gold cutlasses now. Because we've got custom subscriber badges. But thank you very much. Can I get a shout out for the Flibmeister himself? Guys, if you like games, go play. Not go play. Well, you should go play them, but at the same time, you should go and watch Flib play them. Even when games crash, even when a man can go so fast through a game as to break the audio, he still puts out an entertaining stream. That's right. What was it? Luigi's Mansion, right? One of the best streams that I think I've ever seen on Twitch. And it was, it was because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Flip found a glitch. Oh, 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 Flip glitched the game and then the audio broke. And then he, he was in the middle of a run, so he had to continue on the rest of the run without audio. It was great. Cheers, Super Sub. And Algorod, thank you guys. The annual badge. But how's things, DP? What have you been up to? Ooh, I'll have that. It's so good. Ooh. 
Oh, I see another red skull over there. I guess... Uh, I'm guessing I... Ah, uh, Sunken Chapel of Sobek. I guess I don't need to be over here yet. That's how good a streamer he is, exactly. And then he was joined by the lovely General Andrews, who uh, who took on the mantle of uh, Foley artist and did all of the sounds. Lots of planning for the coming months. Sweet, sweet. Oh my god, don't look now, guys, but the sun has just faded behind the uh, houses opposite, so I am going to be able to open my window and not worry about the sun beaming down over the green screen. Give me two seconds while I just extricate myself. Back. Oh, hopefully that will help us a little bit. General is best for the artist. That chair, though. You like the chair? Yeah? Can we get some chair love? I'm going to put my own chair love in the chat. Bloop. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Sorry, that's, that's my... Thank you, Argaroth. Oh my god, chair is an actual streamer. I mean, nobody go and watch them because they're probably better than me. And I don't want to send you guys away from me. But, you know, the more you know. A bit of me really hopes that it's just the stream of a chair. If it's anything other, I'm going to be a little bit upset. A man who's retro all the way down to my chair. Oh, <laughs> yes. Sunny boy is back at home, Monolith. Chilling out. Probably melting just as much in the heat. Getting a breather from my behind. Let's, let's face it, most people need a breather from my behind. Moving swiftly on. The clockwork model. It can control the weather too. Osiris was the wisest of us. He created this machine as a safeguard, so that no one god could wield their powers against him. Use if Set the had full cramp. control of this device, he would threaten the entire world. To banish the rain. Right, how am I supposed to do that? Do I need to put something in the middle? Oh, this is the inner crack. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so we can do daytime. Nighttime! And we can also do rain or more. At last, a break in the storm. Osiris has countered Sobek's power. Now, to the temple. Argroth, you are off. No worries. Have you said a good one, man? Whatever you are up to. Thank you very much for stopping by. Appreciate it. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. I oh got you best you best not be going to watch your new favorite streamer, Chair. Oh, I see we're now pointing towards this. Let's bomb our friends. Okay, so it's night time. Oh, God. I'm gonna need to go and grab a little drink in a bit. It's ridiculous. What are we up to now? What are we doing? It's night time. Lovely. What does that mean? 
Tempted. The water has opened new paths, but it looks like Osiris has a preference. Right. Well, let's not let the big man down, huh? I guess it's pointing us there for a reason. Hopefully, there's no side press. This is for the setback. I will be the lord of the entire world. It does my heart good to hear him this angry. Oh, hello. the grenade down, I guess. Oh, that worked. Very nice. Gotta love it when the grenade spam works. Come back here. Right. Did we get challenges in this one? Osiris' temple chamber. I know where we are. Ten red skulls in the shrine of Osiris. Is this this? I mean, it's temple chamber. Maybe, or is it that one that was on that plinth? Possibly, probably the one on the plinth. So, where have we opened now? The waters have receded. Osiris is with us. It is time. Defeat Sobek in under three minutes. Feed Sobek three time bombs at once. Feed Sobek, Sobek one of his minions. Okay. Okay. Three time bombs at once. One of his minions. Great Sobek. These are the mortals that entered your holy reigns and slaughtered your followers. Show them how a real god repays his debts. Ow! Reload checkpoint! <laughs> Fine. Sorry, I want that Great, my so four big. times. These are the mortals multiplied. that entered your holy reigns and slaughtered your followers! Show them how a real god repays his debts! Okay, okay. Right. Oh, everyone's facing one way. It's like this old... What are they called? The... the Terracotta army or, or something like that. Nice! Perfectly square bits of floating debris. Standard. Standard. Fishies. Oh. Oh. Fish god. The god of fish and chips. Yeah, in the water. So bad. There he is. Oh He's yeah. Coming around again. I forgot. Stand fast. We must stay on the rock. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Feed him three time bombs at once. He's coming around. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Right, I got it, I got it. Right, so we've got to... On one of these... Into the net. Mm, I had fish and chips earlier, so... Unfortunately, I don't think we can get this third one in. Oh, come on, come on, lad! Nice! Now. There you go. 
Have yourself some bombs, lad. Rub his belly. We must swim out to him. It's the only way. Oh, rub his belly. Look at his little show back face. So, how the hell am I supposed to feed? Same sort of setup, and we just ah, we bomb them into the middle. Come on, Sobek, we up here, bros. Tasty, tasty minion right there. Swabby, congratulations, Mike. Give us some more belly scritches. Who's a good bird? Who's a good crocodile god? You are. Oh god. Bad crocodile god. Oh, check it out. That was lucky. I don't think we're gonna get the, the speed run though. Oh, there he goes. It's like a depth charge. Once more, we can do this. Yeah, pretty easy, mate. Nah, that was way over three minutes on that. Massive gas! Pretty damn soon, too. A canopic jar. We nothing have come a long way. Nothing a belly rub can't fix. Be oh, well, they're saying that. I hate having my belly touched. Okay. Bay, yeah? Yeah, no, I, I can't. I'm very, very protective of my belly. I hate it. I hate my belly and I hate it being touched. Or poking. You don't know why people in high school went through a phrase of poking. Uh -huh. Dangerous Bay. Poker in the pot, wrong place. She'll stab you. Wait. Family friendly? Ooh. Wow, we got a fair few points. Oh my god, was that a little bit of. I think it was a little breeze that just wafted over me. Remember poking on Facebook? I think it was for people like me who were too uh, shy to actually talk to someone but really wanted to let people know that you found them incredibly attractive. You were just like, poke. <laughs> and then nothing. They, they would never poke you back and, and yeah. <laughs> I thought that's what it was there for, Sasha. I got very confused. Some people would send a poke and I'm just like, um, yes, what do you need? Um, well. If you ever got poke from me, I was trying to tell you something. 
this was that an uncommon amulet? Let's let's get back to what we were talking about. There you go, Bang. Power shot, leech magic protect projectiles, and leech bomb. How is it that the sun has gone down and then suddenly it's even hotter? That's not possible, is it? Damn you, greenhouse gases. But you get them from non-flirty people. I mean... Fox, your house gets hotter at this time. Poking annoyed me. Like the word bay. Uh oh. Fight, 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 fight. I never use the word bay, apart from talking to bay, of course. But I like the theory behind it. I like the, the, the acronym. Before all else. I mean, that's, that, that's a really sweet sentiment. I think. But you're calling someone your before all else. They become bef they come before everything else in your life. The bay. Stone building, so it absorbs and holds the heat, and then it sinks into the house slowly in the evening, rather like an oven. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your pain. I mean, it's a, and the the acronym is before all else. I'm sure there's there's lots of different meanings for it elsewhere in the world. Apparently, Danish for poop as well. Awkward poop. There you go. <laughs> You'll take it, you don't care. Get old awkward poop coming in here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. I'm just having to waft. Uncommon- alright, another uncommon am amulet. Not seeing it. Not seeing it. Enough hating on your name. Thanks. Cool, cool. Safe space. In my safe space. My safe space. Oh god, look. Look at the snow. I want to be there. I want to... I want to make a snow angel right now. Like, in this room. I would love to just lie in some snow. You've had enough this week. It's Thursday. One more. One more day. Wait. Wait. Yeah, one more day. The world turns to ice, and I am near. Do not listen to him. Okay, actually, we no. will All right, be okay, victorious. Okay. We Use must. my acting skills. Inhabit the ice world and lower my core temperature. Anything specifically that's been uh, happening to you this week, Bay? There. We're getting close. Let us hope we're not too late. You might have already told me, to be fair. I did see your stream the other night, but I was also off of my face. As always, <laughs> I'm watching your stream. Family friendly! Ex... Ex-friend stuff? Ex-friend? friend of your ex or an ex friend a friend that was a friend and is no more a friend fair play you do what you gotta do babe explore the tomb of the torturer I think that's a good place to go and get myself another drink <laughs> 
because I am dry as a bone. I also want to open my door, waft it around a little bit, see whether we can get um, some some fresh air in here, maybe. There's lots of fresh air, just, just the air is particularly hot. I'm going to be right back, ladies and gentlemen. If you fancy sticking around for more Lara Croft, I would be more than happy. But for now, let me throw a song at you. <laughs> 